the number Me Too sexual harassment movement roiling the nation reached the doors of the White House on Monday, when three women who last year accused President Donald Trump of sexual misconduct began a renewed public push to gain attention for their allegations. The three accusers were among more than a dozen who had initially come forward during the 2016 presidential campaign. The three reinvigorated their stories this week with an appearance on Megyn Kelly's NBC show, their first joint interview, and a subsequent news conference in Manhattan, in which they also called on Congress to investigate their claims. Their appeal comes on the eve of a closely fought special U.S. Senate election in Alabama, where Roy Moore, the Republican nominee whom Trump has endorsed, is facing multiple accusations of sexual misconduct and as four Senate Democrats have called on Trump to resign amid the allegations of harassment against him. The White House dismissed the allegations in a morning statement and an afternoon news conference, saying the president has previously denied any improprieties and arguing that the questions were already litigated as part of his ascension to the presidency. Several White House officials also said the West Wing was not particularly panicked, in part because none of the accusations were new. But some Trump aides, advisors, and outside confidants are privately grappling with how to navigate the charged national environment over sexual misconduct, which may not pass anytime soon, and an increasingly aggressive Democratic Party. Some outside Republicans close to the president said they are increasingly uneasy about his ability to withstand a revived spotlight on his behavior toward women amid the dramatic attitude shift happening nationwide in response to accusations of sexual misconduct against men from Hollywood to Capitol Hill. A number of Trump associates are also wary of the potential political costs if the president goes on a sustained attack against his accusers. These false claims totally disputed in most cases by eyewitness accounts, were addressed at length during last year's campaign, and the American people voiced their judgment by delivering a decisive victory, the White House said in a statement Monday. The timing and absurdity of these false claims speaks volumes, and the publicity tour that has begun only further confirms the political motives behind them. In a contentious media briefing in which White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was asked if she had ever been sexually harassed and if she could empathize with victims of harassment Sanders said, the president has addressed these accusations directly and denied all of these accusations. The allegations against Trump were made public after the Washington Post published an Access Hollywood recording last year capturing Trump boasting about grabbing women by the genitals. But since his election, the president has occasionally privately cast doubt on the tape, at times suggesting it was doctored or inauthentic. One official said the White House largely views the newfound attention as a media and public relations issue.